Good morning, everyone, and it's a great morning because today we are on board the Carnival Conquest cruise ship. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. And in this video, we're going to show you all around the Carnival Conquest. All the food, all the drinks, all the bars, all the things to do, and, and more food. <laughs> starting, a lot of food. Starting off here at the pool deck, one of the hearts and soul of the cruise ship. And it's a pool deck that is used a lot. You can see the Jumbotron up there, and they do dive in movies during the evening deck parties. A lot of deck parties. A lot of deck parties. And um, lots of lounge chairs as well, especially to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. There is a water slide over there. Not, not the best water slide you'll find on a cruise ship, but it is there. And you also have another pool on top. Yeah, and a hot tub over there. And a hot tub. And then I like how you could like sit, hang out over there and put like your feet in the water without going fully into the pool. Mm -hmm. But you go ahead, gotta watch out. If, it, if the weather gets rough, the pool becomes a wave pool. It does. All right, and there's plenty of more fun to be found on the pool deck. We'll go check that out next as we explore the Carnival Conquest. They've got some wonderful lunchtime food right by the pool deck. So right where the Blue Gabbana Cantina, which is a couple different things. It is tacos, where they'll have three different types of tacos, chicken, fish, and pork. Molly, which one did you get? I got the pork. The pork. And then you take your taco and you load it up over here, but they got all sorts of stuff. I'm guessing knowing Molly, she's going for the cheese. Oh, 100%. Yes. And all different types of hot sauces and salsas. Now, on the other side, you could go and get burritos. And it's, it's very much like a Chipotle kind of place where you get your burrito however you want. Also, they do breakfast burritos in the morning. And they're, they're one of the best breakfasts on the ship. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of cheese. Right by the pool, you also get Guy's Burger Joint, an institution here on the Carnival Cruise Line. And these burgers are fantastic. They're very much like a greasy diner burger, and uh, they are so, so good. They're served with fries. I love, I'm so full, I can't do, not right. <laughs> the smell. Just wafting the smell over to me. So you get your burger over here, then you take it to the toppings bar. One thing I love, they've got um, behind there, they got the donkey sauce. You gotta put the donkey sauce on the burger. Then you come over here and you top it up however you want. So sauteed onions, sauteed mushrooms, chili, potato crisp. I love potato crisp. Now they did get rid of the bacon. It used to be bacon here. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's a, a bummer. Bummer. But they still have the chipotle mayo. Chipotle mayo on the fries, donkey sauce on the burger. And they also have the Guy Fieri uh, barbecue sauce. So let's talk a little bit about those pool bars. Starting off here with my personal favorite, the Red Frog Rum Bar. Now this is where you go if you like rum drinks, you come to this side. They've got a great, great menu full of all sorts of uh, like nice fruity boat drink kind of stuff. You also get some mojitos over here, and you get the best selection of rum aboard the entire ship. It's gonna be over here at this bar. Molly, you're drinking a Red's Remedy. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking a Red's Rum Treasure. And a lot of these cocktails here, they're all covered by the beverage program, if you do get that Cheers beverage program. And all of them have like two shots, so you get, it'll get you where you wanna be. Yeah. We're now on the other side of the pool deck at the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And much like the rum bar, they've got an excellent selection of pool type drinks. I'm currently drinking the agave pineapple tea. Sort of a take on Long Island. It is mm -hmm. it is pungent indeed. Molly, you've got the bite of the iguana, which is a, like a fruity tequila drink. Um, some cool things over here. They're gonna have the best selection of tequilas on board the Carnival Conquest. And something I love, if you don't have the beverage package, you can get a 101 ounce beer tube. That's, that's a lot of beer. And here's a better view of that water slide. If you want to ride the water slide, you come up to deck 13. That is where you launched on your water slide adventure. Located on the Lido deck over by the funnel, you will find the sports court area. And this is kind of on our cruising, it's just used for like open play. So they don't really do any like sponsored activities out here, but it is open for volleyball, basketball, soccer, that kind of stuff. And you got the big giant shack looking over you. We're now in the back of the ship on the Lido deck, and there's a lot of stuff back here. First of all, there's a wonderful bar. This is really kind of a standard carnival bar menu. I'm drinking a Pirate Punch, which is a wonderful fruity rum drink. Mm -hmm. One of my go-tos on carnival ships. Molly, it's a little warm out today. So we went with the frozen mud slide. Now, there's no straws anymore on carnival to, you know, be environmentally friendly, but they gave you, if you order a frozen drink, you'll get a straw made out of sugar. Yeah. And they have different flavors, like Molly's got one with her mudslide pairs up. It's a chocolate sugar straw. They have a strawberry and a lime, I think. Yeah, I feel like a margarita or a daiquiri. Mm -hmm. Now, also back here, very important, you get the Pizza Pirate, which is the 24 hours a day pizza. Now, it's so good. It's really, really good. Not very popular now, but about 1, 2 a.m., this is the most popular place on the boat. Mm -hmm. And they've got a lot of different types of pizza as well. Uh, I, like the, I like the four cheese. That's probably my personal favorite. 
Now out here you do have the big pool area. Now, a couple things about this pool area that's very important. This is an adults only pool area because like on our sailing, we're sailing in the, the middle of March. There's a lot of kids on this boat. There is. A lot of kids on this boat, but not back here. This is the peaceful. Yes, it's much more peaceful. And you can see this, it's not on right now, but it's got a retractable roof, much like a Major League Baseball stadium has. So if, if you get unlucky and there's bad weather on your ship, they will close the roof. And they did. They yep. did on our sailing. Yeah, it, it, it functions. Like, it also has a giant hot tub. Yep, a couple hot tubs at the back. Now, as we mosey on over to towards this side, you get the seafood shack. Now, this is going to be an upcharge quick service food establishment, and that serves seafood. Now, Molly and I are not the biggest seafood people, but you get lobster rolls, fried shrimp, that kind of stuff back here. And then also by the, the back of the ship, the pool, the staple of Mars, the cruise line. Ice cream. Ice cream. 24 hours ice cream, I believe. Right underneath the classic carnival whale tail funnel, you get the mini golf course here on board the Conquest. And it's really nice. The nine hole mini golf course mm -hmm. kind of has like a Mayan or Aztec theme and has some really neat holes. Like you got to put through the Easter Island head on this one. Over there, you got to hit into a stone jaguar's I mouth. Did, I did not do well. No, I got a three. You got a did not finish. Yeah. Now the balls are the foam balls, so they do move with the wind. Yes, because you you are on the top deck. Yes. And especially if you're at a sea day and there's a slight breeze, this thing's gonna go all over the place. Mm -hmm. So we forgot. Normally we bring our own golf ball to be like good mini golf. That's what I recommend you doing. So if you're going on the conquest, throw one in your bag, or else you're gonna be playing really wacky mini golf. Twenty holes for me. <laughs> Twenty, 20 <laughs> strikes. Twenty shots and it did not finish. Nope. If you're looking for the most peaceful spot on board the Carnival Conquest, head up to Deck 12, which is where you find the Serenity Adults Only Retreat Area. And this is a sun deck with really nice lounge chairs reserved well, only for those adult guests. Nice couches, the best lounge chairs on the entire ship. They have a bar that's open. Yeah, and I think it runs around one to seven on most days. Mm -hmm. And they have a specialty drink menu as well. Lots of different types of like sangrias in there. Uh, all the way at the end, you've got some cuddle pods, and it's it's really, really pleasant, very peaceful. The Serenity Deck continues on to Deck 13, and this is important because on Deck 13, that's where you get the Whirlpool, the adults only Whirlpool, at the very front of the ship too, so just beautiful, beautiful views. Located on Deck 11, towards the back of the ship, you'll find a shuffleboard court, along with the jogging trail, 10 laps equals one mile, and for some reason, there's a random shower. Maybe uh, if you need to cool down after your run. But there, there, there's like no pool over it. It's really weird. Why is this here? Cooling down after. On deck 10, outside of the upper level of the buffet, you'll find a whole bunch of nice chairs. Like these couches are really comfy and you're kind of in the shade. Like a cool place on sea day to watch and just chill while you're in the shade. Now the port side or the left side of the ship, that is going to be no smoking. On the right side, the starboard side of the ship, that is where you're gonna have a smoking section in the same kind of setup. On deck 12, towards the front of the ship, you'll find a couple of ping pong tables, which is really uh, weather dependent. Yes. As this is, uh, there's no, there's no cover from the elements out here. So if it's a windy day. There's no barricades. Yeah. On deck three, in the middle of the ship, you'll find the artist lobby, which is uh, a very popular place on board the ship. First of all, you get some important stuff over here. You got your shore excursions desk, as well as your guest services desk. If you have any questions or comments or problems, and then you've got a, a stage over here. A lot of times in the afternoon, this is used for game shows or trivia's, and then at night they'll have different musicians that play here. They have a full band that plays. They have a, a really cool, like a trio of acoustic violinists that plays. And very important, there is a lovely, lovely bar as well. Um, my favorite thing about this bar, they got really good dessert martinis. It's a tiramisu martini, an ultimate XO martini, a chocolate martini that are really good. And then it's, I also like the, the decorations in here. Yeah, you can see all the paintings. Yeah, like the little, the little paintings and then the big giant mural on the ceiling. Really cool place. On decks three, four, and five in the front of the ship, you'll find the Toulouse Theater, which is the main show theater on board the ship and uh, it's very nice. I love the detail and how intricate it is here. Yes, so there's, we never really had problems getting a spot. Um, there's been four different shows. On night one we got a welcome aboard show. We did some like welcome to the cruise ship shenanigans followed by the, the singers and dancers performing a couple songs. Night two was a little bit different. It was a game show called The Showdown 
followed by the Love and Marriage show. Last night was a big production show called Epic Rock, and tonight we sat down to watch the 80s pop to the mix. Located on decks three and four in the back of the ship, you get the Monet restaurant. Now, this is used for, if you had that set time dining, your earlier late dining, on our sailing, that is what this is used for. But right now, it's sea day brunch, one of my favorite things on a carnival cruise ship. We have ordered quite a bit of food here at Sea Day Brunch. I got this fried chicken, complete with a cheddar biscuit and gravy. Uh, Molly got this crazy looking cheeseburger. Like, look at the hash browns on that thing. That looks that good. Really, really good. And then uh, one of our favorite things here at Sea Day Brunch, pancetta scramble. So in those scrambled eggs, are gonna be pieces of pancetta. It's really, really good. A couple more items here at Sea Day Brunch. Mozzarella sticks off the kids' menu. But I never pass up the opportunity to have mozzarella sticks. And the seven-layer chocolate cake. Right now, we are on deck five, the promenade deck, which is kind of the heart and soul as far as evening entertainment goes Definitely. on board the Conquest. And we're going to take you on a full walk through the promenade deck, starting in the back of the ship and working our way up front, starting off here in Vincent's Lounge. It's very yellow. It is very yellow in here. But I love the theming too, like yes. the decor and the glass lights and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Now this is used. This is your guitar guy bar most evenings. Mm -hmm. um, the guitar guy, pretty good, very he talented. Is. Um, older, totally hits a, like not the modern guitar guy music, but if you're looking for music from like 20, 30 years ago, he's very, very good at it. I think it. his name's Rob. I forgot. I, th I think his name's Rob, <laughs> but he was really good. Yeah, yeah, very nice guy. Um, then over here you'll get the Degas Lounge. Now this is mostly used for the comedy club on board the ship. And get there early. Oh man, like last night, it was so crowded in here for the comedy club. And I just like, I, you really want to get there very, very early. Um, we've only seen one comedian on board and it was, it was not my thing. Well, we saw the adult comedy and adult comedy is not really our thing um, because I feel like they just make Inappropriate jokes and try to do yeah, I think the F word as much as they can. Yeah, yeah, using dirty words to, as a crush you're not super funny. But uh, it gets packed in here. Yes. So if you want to see the comedy, and, line up. But right. there is, I mean, it, it's a big lounge. It's, it's a, a very big lounge. lounge. And you get some of that charm, too. Like, <laughs> stuff like this is all over the lounge. But yeah, definitely get there early. I think the one night the comedians were off, it was karaoke in here. Yes. And as we mo move along the promenade deck, now you will have like art all over the ship and these are sold in an art auction on Sea Day. On the right over here in the, behind these windows is going to be the piano bar on board. Mm -hmm. His name's Marshall right now. Mm -hmm. And he's um, okay, I would say. He's a very good musician. He just... Uh, he has no like, stick. Correct. And sometimes you want that with a piano guy. Yeah. Uh, also, it's really, really bright in here at night. It's like uh, for a lounge, normally you're in the evening, you want to be chill and it's so bright in here, like somebody could be performing surgery. Yes, it's very light. Uh, the decor is interesting. Like it's yeah. not the goofy decor yeah. that Carnival is known for in their piano bar. Yeah, and they got a specialty bar menu in here as well. Mm -hmm. like the showstopper martini is oh, really I good. I love the showstopper. Um, the comedy club also has a specialty bar menu. That one I love the the shot. Not your grandma's cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah, which is like orchata and fireball. They also have the blue drink of death. Yes, don't order the blue drink of death. <laughs> But you can order anything over here at the Alchemy Bar, as this is probably my favorite spot on board the Carnival Conquest. This is going to be your craft cocktail bar, your martini bar. They have a really, really great bar menu, but also these are the most talented bartenders on the ship. So you could just come over here and order whatever you want. Like I, I like raspberry is one of my favorite flavors. There's no raspberry martini on the menu, but they can make me one they and can. it's delicious. And they'll ask me like, hey, do you want vodka or gin and anything? You just, they, they're very creative. Um, some of our favorites on the actual menu, youthful and bold berrettini for a nice fruity martini, the French kiss for a sparkling wine cocktail, and I think our favorite. The deal closer. It's the after dinner drink. Yes, which is like uh, chocolate and they, oh man, they do like, they on top of this wonderful like chocolatey dessert drink, they shave fresh chocolate on top, like using like a little cheese grater. It makes it. Oh, it's wonderful. Up next is Henry's Nightclub. Now we've been to the nightclub twice. Twice, yeah. It never happens. No, and uh, nightclub, much like the comedy, very, very popular. Yes. Last night was a blast. Like they did like 90s music hour. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was that was really, really fun. And I kind of like, as we were talking about like the decorations and the decor on board the ship, look at the, I don't even notice these weird trees in the evening. Yeah, well, it's so dark in here. Mm -hmm. uh, the dance floor, you're not allowed drinks on the dance floor. Yeah, they are very. And they're very strict about yes. it. Yes. Moving on, and that's um, 
really like your big hub of nighttime activity is really right there with those four bars. Now I love the lights here too. It kind of comes from the Mes Vincent Lounge. Yes. But I love the lights. Very, very hours. Alice in Wonderland kind of it does. feeling. Uh, you also get an arcade, a big arcade. We'll take a walk through there in a moment. <laughs> uh, you get kind of some wasted space here. I believe at one point this was uh, something called a taste, taste bar. bar. Yeah. That Carnival, they don't really do that anymore. So it's just kind of, it's kind of nothing. Yeah. They should use it. Maybe make it a bar. But then you have a big bar coming up. Yeah. Um, this is kind of interesting. This is just a map of uh, North America. And I believe what's supposed to happen here, it's supposed to light up where you are. But it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool idea. Yeah. Now, this is an odd thing here. Yes. This is going to be your teen club, I believe, right? Yes. It's your teen club. Also, I love the, like, the, the wacky decorations again. Now, Molly and I, we're not teenagers. Also, I don't know why your teen club's kind of like right in the middle of the nightclub area. Yeah, it's, it's a little odd. Mm -hmm. odd. Odd placement for it. Uh, the coffee shop is up next. It's where you can get your fancy coffees. Also where you'll have like, they'll do daily puzzles over here if you want to play Sudoku or crossword, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, also, if you're going to a tender port where you have to get on the water shuttle, this is where you would get your ticket to do that. Also, if you want a paper fun times guide, it's here. Yes. A um, couple things about this. They have Gatorades over here that are included on the Cheers beverage program. And something I really like, like I'm not a coffee guy, but you could get milkshakes over here. You can. And like milkshakes with vodka in them, and they're really good. Uh, if you want to buy pictures, you could do this so here at the Pixels Gallery. Yeah, the fun hub to connect to the internet. Yep. And moving on. Now they do also take at night have pictures. Yes. So they kind of have backdrops here. Mm -hmm. And we get towards the casino area, big casino bar. Like they do have some specialty drinks over there. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll, a lot of times it would be a Latin band playing over here in the evening. Latin or the Caribbean... Uh, um, steel drum player. Steel drum, yes. And you can see the casino, a pretty good sized casino. It is a smoking casino. It is. But I, I feel like it really, depending on where you sit, you either smell it or you don't. I, they do pump in, I think, scents and sacred things. Yeah. So sometimes you get this strong perfumey smell. Yeah. Trying to cover up the smoke. Um, I'm not the biggest gambler, but I do recommend just playing a little bit because Carnival's been really weird with their uh, casino offers. So if you come and play like 20 bucks, even that doesn't sound like a lot, you might end up getting like a casino offer for a really good discounted cruise. So mm -hmm. I, I don't really like gambling. It's not my thing, but I, I do a little bit because... Like it, it could really work out in your favor. It does. You can see all the table games here. I would say the casino has been popular, but not super popular. It's a good, it's a good average. Yeah. There's always a machine open if you want. Yep. And connected to the casino, someplace I love aboard the boat. This is the Skybox Sports Bar. And this also has a special menu. Yep. And uh, this, the Skybox Martini is my go-to in here. It's a, a very nice uh, Grey Goose based martini. Now the thing with this is, if it's a major game on, there's yeah. not much seat. No. So you do have to get here early if you're here for a major game. Yeah, like um, during the NFL season, the uh, the Carnival Company they do have that NFL Sunday ticket. Yeah. So and, every TV. Has a and uh, like, I love sports, but we didn't buy the internet package, so I would just come in here and try to watch the the bottom line of uh, ESPN to try to see like all the news of the day and the, the world of sports. Mm-hmm. You do have some autographs as well over here on the wall. And uh, also on draft, they'll have Carnival specialty beers. Uh, Carnival, they brew their own series of beers. And the nice thing about the sports bar, you can get them on draft. So you got the Toasted Amber, the West Coast IPA from their Parched Pig brand, and you get their uh, their Thirsty Frog brand as well. So the Caribbean Wheat, and then the Thirsty Frog Red. The original. Yep. Uh, the Caribbean Wheat is definitely my favorite yes. out of them. And if you really like it, you can buy the glassware, which I think is really cool. As a big craft beer people, but we give that one a thumbs up. Now, time to mosey out of the sports bar. Something I love on the ship to something that's really not, not as much my jam as right in the atrium area on deck five. That is your shopping section of the cruise ship. Now, there's going to be a couple stores. Over there, that is where you're going to have your fancy store, like your jewelry and perfumes, things like that. Mm -hmm. Over here, one of the more fun shops. That is cherry on top. That's the candy store. Lots of fun stuff in there. And now the most important one for me, 
is this one here, because this is two things. This is duty-free liquor, and it's also all your souvenirs. So if you want a, a souvenir that says Carnival on it, or the Carnival Conquest, this is where you would come to get them. Uh, we're actually on a special sailing, which was the, the 50th birthday sailing, so they did all sorts of special merchandise for this ship. I'm not sure if this is something that's gonna be just for this ship, or it's gonna be... I think they'll sell it until it, so they sell out. I mean, you could buy your own Fun Ship Freddy, or that hat. And the funny thing about the hat, it moves. It moves, I didn't know that. Yeah. I was like, did I have too much to drink? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, lots of cool, pretty good souvenirs in there. And then at the end, you get to the duty-free liquor section. So um, you can get some pretty good deals on some alcohol. And then all the way at the end is the theater. And that's the promenade deck. And they also have, if you do want to know your account base, instead of going to guest services, you can use this machine. Or you could use the app. It's or on the app. Or you can app. use app I also like these. Um, this would be a good place to show it off. They have a really cool mural, like a really giant mural with that French architecture, uh, uh, French artist motif. On deck nine in the back of the ship is where you'll find the buffet on board. And we're uh, on a port day. Let's see what is for lunch. Starting off with a big uh, like make your own salad station, mm -hmm. which looks very nice if you like salads. And that's not a you, but like, no, it's, a, it's, it's not. a lot of toppings. Yeah, and it continues over here for a while, too. Well, these are like different types of salads. They're all kind of pre-made. Salads, coleslaw. Here we go. This is more me, uh, meats, bacon bits. All right, it is a Mediterranean lunch over here, so we have paella. Oh, goodness. Pasari plaki, which is a baked fish. Oh, goodness. Uh, that. That is next. <laughs> this is after that. <laughs> Those look really good, like lamb meatballs. They do. Uh, that, that's potatoes. Oh, we got like an eggplant pasta. And I, I've never had borek. Interesting looking. And then cakes. It looks good for me. They do, um, a, every day they have different types of cakes. And the cake helper. <laughs> what do we got? Dark chocolate honeycomb cake. German a chocolate. German chocolate cake. We got, oh, apple salted caramel cake. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Strawberry lemonade cake. A red velvet layer cake also looks really good. Ooh, and a coffee and cream cheesecake. Now the cakes, they change up every day. So it's always fun to come to the lunch buffet to see what kind of cakes are gonna be that day's cakes. For the healthier types, there is a selection of fruits. You've also got some breads and various dips. French baguette. It's like a roll and then some focaccia. We're now in the back section of the buffet, which is going to have some different menu items. The front had a Mediterranean theme today. In the back, we've got a comfort kitchen theme. So we got roasted garlic mashed potatoes, loaded mac and cheese, steamed mussels. That is absolutely happening. Nashville fried hot chicken. Um, they're going to replace the Salisbury steak with mushroom gravy. Cream spinach. Oh, that sounds like a Molly thing. Mm. Cheddar cornbread. Yeah, it's a very And then you got thing. grilled vegetables and a roast beef on the carving station. This is very important and very, very cool that they do this. There is an allergy food assistant desk here in the buffet area in the back. So if you have any sort of allergy questions, this is where you would go. And that's something I haven't seen on a cruise ship before, and that's really, really neat. You go all the way to the back of the buffet at lunchtime and go up the fancy stairs, it'll take you to the old-fashioned barbecue. <laughs> and we made it here to the old-fashioned barbecue. I like this. It's one of my favorite options for lunch. Um, you got three different types of meat. You got the pork butt, which sounds disgusting, but it is wonderful. It is the best. Chicken and smoked beef also. Uh, that is what our pork butt looks like. It also got a really good mac and cheese, really good rolls, and uh, three different types of barbecue sauce. In the buffet area, you will find the deli on board the ship. This runs about 11 to 11 every day. They got 15 different sandwiches, and they're really good. We went with a special of the day. We got a Korean barbecue beef. But lots of stuff's really good. I love the buffalo chicken sandwich they, they serve here. They've got, uh, it's also, you can get fries, and then they have really good, like, sriracha and chipotle mayo. And you Cookies. only put in your fries. Yeah. I like the deli quite a bit. Very important in the buffet area, they do have complimentary beverages. So lemonades, iced teas in the morning, that'll be juices. You get water and ice there, as well as coffee. 
If you go all the way to the back of the buffet, you get the coffee bar on board, which is where you get your cappuccinos and fancy Starbucks coffee. And for me, after I had those 15 treats, Gatorades. Not open at the moment, but in the buffet area, you'll also find sushi at sea, which is not included with the cost of your cruise, but it's also not super expensive either. So you could get pieces of sushi and sashimi syrup, a buck fifty, or rolls for five to seven dollars, or a poke bowl. On deck 11, in the front of the ship, is where you'll find Spa Carnival. Now, this is where the spa is on board. This is also where the fitness center will be on board. So if you want to hit the gym or get a massage, this is where you're going to do that. Uh, Molly, we once again have failed. Brought the gym clothes, brought the headphones. We're drinking instead. Yeah. <laughs> Located on deck three, you do have an outdoor walking promenade section. It doesn't go all the way around the ship, but it goes all the way down the sides. So if you want to come and get some fresh air, pretty good spot to do it. Also, not, not very busy. Located on deck 10, you'll get the only upcharge restaurant here on the Carnival Conquest, and that is the Point Steakhouse. It is a $38 per person, especially restaurant. And uh, we've eaten at other steakhouses on the Carnival Cruise Line ships. They're really nice. I think if you want a special evening out, it's definitely worth the money. Mm -hmm. If they do the dessert at your table as part of the menu, definitely get that, the art of the table for dessert, as that is really nice and the food's good. Located on deck four, towards the back of the ship, you'll find Alfred's Bar, which is the main karaoke bar here on the Carnival Conquest. And uh, it's nice, I love the giant heads and these chairs. <laughs> really nice chairs. One pro tip, if you go all the way forward on deck seven or deck six, you get out here to the front of the ship. So if you're sailing into or out of a port and you really want to check it out, also you'll probably be pretty much by yourself, I think. There's, it's not easy to find, you gotta walk past the staterooms to get over here. We're here in uh, Nassau, Bahamas today. And look at that cruise ship. There's a giraffe wearing an inner tube. <laughs> Located just off the main atrium, on decks three and four is the Renoir restaurant, which is where you go if you have the My Time dining. Now, if you got My Time like we do, you check it on the app, and they tell you when your table is ready, and we're gonna walk you through everything we have for dinner on the last one ever cruise here. And here's a look at the Renoir restaurant. It's a two-level restaurant. Uh, it's got the French motif like the rest of the ship. This, both dining rooms have the, the Eiffel Tower just everywhere. Now dinner service begins in the main dining room where uh, one of your waiters will bring you over a basket of bread and you get to pick out which bread you want. You also get your choice of three dips. Um, I'm pretty sure two always are the same, right? Yeah, these two. There's butter, the butter. And there's always uh, olive oil and balsamic. balsamic. Uh, tonight it was like a tomato and olive for the third one. Uh, one sometimes they do bacon pan drippings. Now our appetizers arrived as well. For my appetizer, I got the I got chili glazed chicken tenders. And Molly, you got a steak, ale, and cheddar soup. Yes. Sorry. The main course has arrived. I got the beef short ribs. Is that potatoes? I think it's like a cheesy potato. It looks really good. And then you got something you've never ordered on Carnival. No, I've before. never ordered this. The enchiladas. Looks cheesy. Dessert is served. I got the baked Alaska, which is always a nice treat. And Molly went with the traditional Carnival chocolate melty cake. So every night in the main dining room, there is showtime. Where the waiters will dance and sing and that kind of thing. And uh, they're coming out and they parade to Rocky right now. So on Carnival Cruise Line, they, they always sing the same song. and check out all the games they have in here. Right away you get the big value prizes. Like look at all this stuff you could win. iPads and watches, smartphones. Yeah, yeah. Like high, high nice. value by Xbox One, PS5. Like lots of top level prize right off the gate. GoPros, yeah, you're probably not winning them, but hey, it looks like somebody won. That five is empty there. Yeah. Lots of those kind of high value games. 
Now, there's a lot of ticket games in the arcade, and if you win some tickets, you cash them in at this machine. It'll all be on your sale and sign card. They got some fun stuff. Look at those SpongeBob, SpongeBob prizes. Yeah. Mystery prize, cubes. little puzzle cubes. Animals. I think they're animals on parachutes. Mm. Weird looking fish. I like these, these bird whistles. Yeah, look at that penguin. The best type of bird. As we move along, you get into more of the ticket games here, like this one where you have to pop a balloon. It's kind of fun. Oh, this one where you can win a different number of lollipops. Yeah. And uh, the games, they all vary in price. Like the lollipop game, it is $1. Oh, wow, look at this. Lots of stuff. Like, this is throwback to my childhood. I used to love things like that. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Not very crowded in the arcade right now, which is good. We warm in the warm. arcade. It is warm. I love this, the uh, Virtual Rabbits, the big ride. Really, really cool. It's essentially a virtual reality simulator ride. And for five bucks, two people get to ride. It's really, really cool technology. If you haven't done that before, it's, it's super, duper fun. They use every inch of Oh, yeah. We are, it's jam-packed in here. You play Injustice Arcade. You can win your own Squishmallow. Very, very popular. You can win a watch or a Baby Yoda. Look at all those Baby Yodas. All right, Batman card game. And these are some of my favorite arcade games. Like, I love this stuff. Like, this one here. Down, Down the Clown. Down. Yeah, you like that one. Milk Jug Toss. Gold Fishing. Gold Fishing. Of course, you can't have an arcade without Ski Ball and Papa Shot Basketball. Um, towards the back over here, you get some more video games, like Jurassic Park Arcade. The boxing game where you gotta punch the bag as hard as you can. Space Invaders. Typhoon from our buddies over at Triotech. That's another one. This is a really good price. $250 for the simulator ride, for, and that gets two people on the ride. That is a good price. Willy Crash. The wonderful, wonderful air hockey with all the pucks that fly out. Cruising Blast. Fishbowl Frenzy. Piano Keys. You get Halo Fireteam Raven over there. A really, really nice arcade. Located on deck 12 in the front of the ship is Camp Ocean, which the kids clubs on board. The kids are divided up into different age groups like sharks from 9 to 11, stingrays from 6 to 8, and of course the best animal in the world, penguins, is 2 to 5. Uh, me and Molly, we are not children. Shocking to me, I know. And uh, so that's all we're going to show you about Camp Ocean here. One nice thing about Club Ocean here on the Carnival Conquest, they have an outdoor deck area for the kids, which is a pretty nice playground on it. On deck four, right by the atrium, you also have Circle C, which is the kid club for ages 12 to 14. Not, not the biggest kids club, if you could take a peek in there. Lots of computers. Yep. Also, it's right outside the dining room. Also, where you'll find the Dream Studio, which if you want to take some, some fancy pictures mm -hmm. when you're all dolled up, this is where you come to do that. They have a lot of neat art around the ship, but I really like this one. It is a, uh, a mosaic of the Carnival Cruise Ship Funnel. The Carnival Conquest has a French art theme, so you get some interesting quirks. Uh, one of my favorite, these weird... Ballerinas? Yeah, on Ballerinas. every single stairway. Weird. On deck four in the atrium area, you'll find the Pixels Gallery. That's where you buy any of those photos you took on board. And the gifts for your loyalty program. Yeah, so if you're in that VIFP club, you want to get your pin, you come over here. And also on deck four is the Painter's Number Library. Seven. They're playing some trivia, so let's go check out what's going on in the library. Good air conditioning in here. Nice looking chairs. Like, like if you had to do some work on board the ship, like this, this might be where you want to go. Look at that. But uh, one thing I noticed about the library, Molly, they don't have, they don't have a lot of books. No, they don't. Not but, many books at all. Do you know what? I think they need another book, right? They do, they do. Possibly experience the point, Possibly. the unofficial guidebook to Cedar Point. Signed? By our own Andrew Hyde. All right, Molly, let's pick out a good spot. Hmm, where should we go? I don't know. Uh, now, if you're coming on board the ship, come to the library, find Hyde's book, and uh, take a picture with it, tag us on social media, and it'll be found right here. Enjoy. Right outside the theater on deck five, 
you'll find a couple displays like this. And these are all trophies and prizes given to the Carnival Conquest, generally on their inaugural call to a port. So like you got one down here from Montego Bay. Or their ceremony. Oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah that was the bottle that, that you know, christened the ship. So it was kind of neat to see this stuff. On the promenade deck across from the casino, you'll find the port shopping decks with your shopping experts. So if you have any questions about wherever your boat is going to and where to shop, that's where you'll want to go. And last but certainly not least, we're going to show you around our cabin. We were in an interior cabin up on the Lido deck, uh, 9248. And I just really liked our cabin. Uh, location was good. Uh, the bed was very, very comfy. As you can see, uh, they gave you a towel on each day. And we didn't destroy any. We destroyed one. The elephant's head fell off. Yeah, but we kind of kept it intact. And our stateroom cabin attendant, who's very, very friendly gentleman. Jay. Yeah. He, he just kept building them. And now, now we got a whole army here on the last night of the cruise. Um, one thing I do like about the Conquest, you got USB chargers in the lamps mm -hmm. at the edge of the bed, which a lot of cruise lines you don't really find. No. Uh, TV was pretty small. Uh, you do get like two movie channels, you get a Nickelodeon channel, you get a Cartoon Network channel, uh, one news station, and a, a whole bunch of brainwashing channels. Big mirror vanity kind of thing. Lots of storage, plenty of storage. There is a safe in here for all of your valuables. Under there, there's a, a pretty good sized mini fridge. Fridge, yeah. Uh, you got shelves in this one, and then two big like wardrobes. Moving along to the shower and the bathroom. Uh, one thing with this class of ships, it's always kind of weird. They always have a picture in the bathroom, and I don't know who that is, but they kind of look at you and you do your business, and it's a little weird. Um, shower does have your, your shampoo and shower gel. Uh, shower is pretty good. Not a fan of the curtain, but it, it wasn't one of the ones that stuck to your bum as you were trying to, you know, get cleaned up. Lots of storage in the bathroom as well. No complaints there. And that will do it for our time on the Carnival Conquest. And uh, it was a real, I had a blast. It was a wonderful, wonderful cruise. Molly, what were some of your favorite parts on the Conquest? Uh, the Alchemy Bar. I love the Alchemy Bar. You can never go wrong on a Carnival. Oh, no. Like some Check. of the... The, the martinis, drinks, uh, wild shots we saw them make today. Mm -hmm. Like, that was absolutely wonderful. I love lunch on the Carnival Conquest. Uh, you have so many options. Guys burgers, tacos, burritos, old time barbecue, a nice buffet. Like, there's so many good options for lunch. We went to the nightclub twice this time. And we might end up there tonight. Happens, yeah. We don't know. It could, it could be three out the of four. The DJ's really, really good in the nightclub. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say one big thing that I've loved on this cruise, uh, the cruise director was a gentleman named Dr. E. Who's very personable. He's always walking around, always at every event. You see him everywhere. And even like things he doesn't have to be at. Like he was at comedy, messing around with a comedian, stuff like that. And uh, he, he hosts a couple deck parties and sing-along parties. And that was really good. Uh, me and you have been on probably 45, 46 cruises, and this is our second time with Dr. E. I think he's our favorite cruise director, uh, and, and for I the agree. reasons you yeah. said. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, the bre breakfast burritos. Ooh, Ooh yep, that at was the Blue good. Iguana Cantina. Yes. Absolutely. Um, I like CD brunch quite a bit. That yeah, menu good. is. It's hard to pick which one the oh, breakfast yeah. burrito or a CD brunch. It's so good. Uh -huh. There's lots of music on the boat. A variety too. Absolutely, they hit like all genres. Between there's a, a acoustic violin group, there is a Latin band, there was a rock band, there was an acoustic guitar guy, all different genres of music. The piano guy as well. Um, I really liked our stateroom attendant. Oh, he was so friendly. He Mr. was very friendly. Mr. J was very very good. Um, I liked that there wasn't a big push to upsell stuff. Like they weren't continually reminding you like go to the spa or the steakhouse or the casino or the shops. Um, some of the cruise lines do push that kind of thing. All the time. This, this ship really did not. Yeah. Um, we were here on a special event cruise as well. We were sailing during the 50th anniversary of Carnival Cruise Lines, their big celebration cruise. And we've never done like a special event cruise and they did a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, we got good merchandise and everything. We spent so much. We might probably dropped a hundred bucks on merchandise. <laughs> I like uh, the variety of the bar menus because yeah. you have the tequila menu, the rum menu, the skybox martini, and mm -hmm. of course the alchemy bar. Yeah, and even the, even like if you go to a comedy show, that's a, that's a specialty menu. Uh, Piano yeah. guy, special menu. Like that kind of thing is really, really nice. Um, and you know what, going hand in hand with that, the Cheers beverage program, if you buy it, it's 50, you get 15 drinks per day, 
but it also includes your your non-alcoholic beverages. Like sometimes when you you have that 15 drinks, you need some Gatorade that night or the night the morning after, and that is included with the beverage plan at the the coffee bar. You definitely need that. Yeah. And then we get a big giant bottle of water too. Yeah, with That's the really with the, nice. the BAFP club like on the beaches and stuff, mm -hmm. and pirate private islands. Uh, one more thing I really liked. We we uh, we stopped at Princess Key on this trip, and uh, on the tender boat back. We saw a sea turtle, like a big old sea turtle just hanging out, coming up for a breath, and he was he was really cool. But, as a down, we didn't yeah. also see a stingray there. Oh my goodness, like, <laughs> you're sitting in the water on your floating hammock. It's giant. A big old three-foot stingray comes floating right by, like, that was terrifying. Um, some other things I would say I didn't care for too much on the ship, uh, especially like today. Today was a port day in Nassau. We did not get off the boat, but there was very limited entertainment during the day. It was very trivia heavy, I feel like. Yeah, and, and there was that's like, the problem. And there was no, there was no movies. There was no musicians. Really, it was kind of like get off the boat or go to the one trivia, or stay in your cabin. Exactly. Um, the main dining room was kind of slow. Now it the, depends on the day. The crew were working there like as fast as they could. I just feel like they haven't found that balance yet of how many people go to the main dining room. So that was slow with CA brunch and then uh, the specialty meal. Yeah, but like today's service was very, very fast. It was. And it, like some meals in there were amazing, great meals. Some were like, ooh, I might have to go eat again. Yeah. Kind like, of thing. I can't eat this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some of my favorite bars on board the ship are the Alchemy Bar or the uh, the Skyline Sports Bar, and both of them have kind of limited hours where they would open at like four or five and they're until 11. So I'd like to see like some of my favorite bars be open longer. Uh, today we played shuffleboard and I think Ooh. that was the worst shuffleboard I've ever Yeah, played. that is not where shuffleboard you know, should I be. I was horrible at that. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a limited, uh, a minor complaints too, like the piano bar was way too bright. Like there's, uh, that place should not be so bright. Uh, we were on the big 50th anniversary sailing, but Despite there being a lovely plushie of him, Funship Freddy, the costume character, did not show up. No, and they kind of teased that, so that was disappointing. Yeah. Um, now you can hear everything with these rooms, too. Everything. So if, if somebody everything is walking by in the morning, everybody. they're having a conversation. Our neighbors could probably hear us now talking. Yeah, it's um, there. there's uh, paper-thin walls here. All right, and that, I believe, uh, also, one minor complaint... Her toilet stopped working for like 10 hours and then randomly weird. and then randomly started working again. Yeah, it was like making a gurgling noise. Yeah. But overall, it was a good. I felt like the crew members were really, really friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, you had a couple bar staff people that were top notch. And then even though the main dining room was slow, everyone was very attentive. They were, they were doing and the best they could. Yeah. They apologized. And, yeah. And then they yeah. were cool too. Oh, yeah. All right. And that'll do it for our time here on the Carnival Conquest. Uh, wonderful, wonderful time. If you're going on the Conquest, you got any questions, let us know in the comments section below. And now stay tuned at the end of the video here. I screenshotted all the times guides of all the activities for the Conquest sailing we were on. And uh, we're going to play that up next. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you don't watch videos like this, we couldn't go on cruises like this. So thank you guys so much and uh, stay tuned for the times guide.